Hey everyone, it's Nicole and Jamie. We're just on here to do a quick video and show you how our stackable trays work. So these are the original trays that Jamie designed. So it's two small trays, two small lids, and a large tray. And the original design, the lids just kind of sat on top and so the smalls would move around if you tried to stack them there. And then same thing if you had a large lid, then they would roll around. So. If anyone doesn't know, Jamie is full-time Air Force, and then he helps with the business and tries to have a life. So it took us time to where we took two weeks off recently, um, a working vacation. Uh, well, I guess vacation would have been in quotes, <laughs> the working vacation, yeah. so that we could um, work on prototypes and enjoy the holidays. And this video is raw. We don't edit videos, so what you see is what you get. So anyways, this is the original trays, and then this is the new and improved version. So if you have the original trays, they'll still work. You can just set them on top like this. Same thing, you can set them on top. But the great thing is that the smalls will fit on top of the smalls now instead of like this, and they won't move around. And then same thing with the larges, that they will not move around if you stack them on top. So the other difference with these is that uh, same concept, yeah, throw those away. we're done with those. So came, same concept that they pour out of the corner. So you use your tray and then you would pour them out of the corner into your container and uh, they have sliding lids. So they slide out and then they slide in and that way you don't drop drills out. Hopefully they're not impervious to accidents. People can still drop them and they can come open, but we tried to make the design where uh, they would close into place and be able to stack better. So the other great thing that I've been using these and I absolutely love is that, so here's our squares. We'll give an example of how the squares look and I'll spill drills. Probably should have done this video at the beginning of the day. Okay, so, and also probably shouldn't have filled them that much, but there you go. So there's the, there's the drills in there. They line up nicely, so that's the squares. And then before you can overfill the tray because they go crazy, but now the great thing about it is you just close the lid Shake it around, shake it to the bottom a little bit, and then they just go out like that. Ta-da! Ta -da. And then if you have some stuck over on the side, then you just shake it again, and then they all come out. So there's no more drills in there. So that's a wonderful thing with that. And then I'll show you what the circles look like. I believe people call them rounds. Oh, sorry. <laughs> rounds look like squares and rounds. Yeah, you know. You know more about this, this hobby than I do? Is that what you're saying to me? <laughs> I'm just not as much on the spotlight as you. I can okay. think better. All right, there we go. So uh, you shake it around. Again, probably should have done this at the beginning of the day. There they are, all lined up. And again, I've been finding the easiest thing is just shake them down, and then they're all ready to come out there. And also the great thing is it just kind of, if you have too many, then it kind of closes over here, so it gives a lot less to spill out. And if you have the Tic Tac containers, then uh, we make these funnels that go in, and so it makes it a lot easier for pouring in too. Just, Missed one. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Probably should have done this earlier in the day. Okay, and so that's how, and then, oh, well, here I'll show you how our other funnel works. So if you want to take the lid off, then you can use the other funnel. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I planned Everything that. happens for a reason. <laughs> it does. I totally planned that. So that's how the two funnels that we have work. Um, and, I mean, they'll work with any sort of container. Um, they just tend to work better with the uh, Tic Tac containers because this goes down into the hole. So, and then they just stack like that. And that's all there is to it, to the trays. Um, and we do limited releases. That's to keep quality high, make sure we're not overlaying ourselves. We also, uh, quality is important. And so we get quality filament. So if you see some other stores that have like a bunch of color options, uh, the filament may not be as good. I don't know personally, but I know that we, Feel like quality is important so we get yep. high standards so we get all sourced from uh u.s manufacturers and u.s made corn yeah it's actually made from corn <laughs> okay not too. not the silk not the so, rose gold but okay okay the, the regular these, colors but are. the regular colors so we have gone to where we are doing it from a u.s manufacturer we are a small business in the United States. We want to support small business in the United States. We tried a couple different places, but it wasn't working out the quality, but we finally found a place that has good quality. So um, we'll be using them for the most part going forward. We just, they don't have silk very much, but anyways, that's for another video. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully this is informative and that you love these trays as much as I do. Thank you, Jamie, for being a genius and coming up with these to begin with and well, then making the improvements. You all can see how clumsy Nicole is. <laughs> this is the original idea was just to 
help reduce the amount of time I had to pick drills up <laughs> off the floor with her. I so. think so. It started. I totally forgot. He, he started with the funnel because he was so over me spilling drills. And so that's yep. how it all started. And it went from there. So yep. that's all we have for you today. Hopefully you have a good night and we will see you soon.